Twinny Girl Natural. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Yay! <laughs> That's starting to be like my tagline, but I'm always usually so happy to be back because usually it's like my first video in months. <laughs> so anyways, yes, welcome back, welcome back. So today I'm going to be reviewing natural, I think, nature all. So today I'm going to be reviewing natural <laughs> and yeah, I'm really excited to try it. It seems like one of the more natural brands, so I'm excited about that. Kind of like young entrepreneur, black old, I want to support. So I'm going to shampoo my hair quickly and then get to the mask. So I might as well say I'm a little bit nervous because this is all the mask I got and you guys know how I go on masks. But we're going to see what we can do with this. And hopefully it's enough, like I think it should be enough unless things go really so. So let me do a quick shampoo and I'll be back to review the Natural Curl Defining Ice Cream Treatment, Flaxseed and Akai Deep Conditioning Treatment. Do not eat, okay, I don't think I, I don't think I'll be tempted to eat, but we'll see. Let me shampoo and let me get to opening this so we can get the fun started. Be back in a second. <laughs> so I'm back after shampooing. Let's get to the excitement. Alright, I can tear this easily. Okay, yeah, yeah. Tears pretty easily. Pretty thick. Let's see. But I'm a little worried about slip. And I'm worried about having enough. <laughs> but we'll make it work. I didn't get two because I figured surely one packet this size can work for me. So it has, it smells like, I want to say like avocado and oil. <laughs> so it does say keep frozen, so definitely <laughs> pay attention to the labeling. So I guess I basically have enough here. So let me see what's going for slip. As expected, the slip isn't great. <laughs> Three and a half out of ten for slip, which means definitely the tangle first. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not gonna try to do too much here in terms of raking it through. So basically I got the right to be wrong. I'm gonna let this sit and if it doesn't do it for me, I'm gonna decondition again with something else. So <laughs> I can already feel it getting softer. So like I don't think it's like completely hopeless, but I don't know if it's gonna do like full top shelf deconditioner things for me. So based on how my hair feels, I'm gonna rinse it all the way out. And based on how my hair feels, I'm going to deep condition again with something. So I do feel like it will be somewhat moisturizing. In terms of how moisturizing, I don't know. And like I said, in terms of slip, it's a no for me. I'm such an open book. Like when I'm when the product is starting to go south, you can just see my face going from to. So I'm back after letting it sit. I didn't want to leave it too long for it to draw up even more since the slip was an issue. But I will say after letting it sit, it does feel... <laughs> I think the slip went up to like a 5 out of 10, I think. Still nothing that I would detangle with per se, but I'm able to at least get my hands through carefully after letting it sit. And it does feel moisturized, not as much as like my usual deep conditioners, but not bad. Like I wouldn't feel like I had to put something over it. So in terms of penetration, it is a little bit more on than in, even though it is like 75% in as well. So my hair definitely feels soft. I wish it felt more moisturized and I wish there was more slip, but I can carefully get my hands through now. Whereas before it was just, don't. <laughs> so I will say I like the scent of this. It smells like, I guess, avocado perfume, if there was such a fragrance. It doesn't make me tempted to eat it at all. And you know, I get tempted to, <laughs> you know, I, I go for foodie scents. So I wouldn't say it's like a foodie scent to me. 
Smell the perfume you sent. So this is my hair after rinsing. I do feel like there's some kill definition in terms of clumps and I guess my hair is more laid, I guess. And I am able to kind of get my fingers through so it doesn't feel worse after rinsing or anything. So, I mean, still carefully, <laughs> but you know, I am able to get my fingers through. But for me, I just like to feel like if I can get my fingers through at any point in my wash day, you know, I like a super slip wash day, super slip brand, slip in every product kind of thing. So, I definitely appreciate the rinse out and the fact that there's still slip after rinsing. Still definition after deep conditioner, hey, I guess, you know, no problem. But for me, <laughs> I guess because I am claustrophobic, I know like, what does it have to do with anything? But like, if you're gonna clump my curls, I won't slip too so I can run my hands through. I don't like feeling like my hair is stuck together as opposed to detangle and define and if it's just plumping without slip, I feel more stuck together than defined, even though it's the same thing and I'm crazy. But you know what I mean, maybe. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so in terms of the curl defining claim, yes. Softening, yes. Moisture, I, I, wish, I wish it had more personally, but I think if you like thicker products and you like avocado DIYs, this would definitely be for you. I feel like a she scented girl and you like the penetration and the light, low, ultra low porosity, it may be a bit, just a bit not penetrating enough for you or not moisturizing enough for you. Not hydrating enough for you, I guess. So, yeah, that's my review on the ice cream <laughs> treatment. So it does have glycerin as a little nut to us low porosity girls, but there is a lot of butters and not a lot of fruit extracts, which, you know, my hair likes the fruit extracts so-so on the butters. So, yeah, as expected, I guess. But not too bad, and I'm willing to risk doing the leave-in and since i'm being lazy i don't know if i will end up sectioning after i go through like putting on leave-in <laughs> i might just be lazy and just not section but let's see how this goes um so we have the nourishing avocado leave-in please have some slip i mean proper ideal i guess has some slip but it's basically just oils with some glycerin all right so so nice kind of thick rich creamy texture so let's see how this does. I like the scent. I don't know, it's like a light, comforting scent. The scent is making me happy. It's a little bit herbal. I'm probably not gonna section y'all. <laughs> y'all gonna, this is my no section type of wash and go, and it's quickly becoming that. <laughs> Where I just put product everywhere and then call it George. I don't think I can't go through that for just putting on leaving everywhere. I don't think I'm gonna section. I am grateful that at least it's sliding over the top in a kind of rich, creamy, present way. Since I didn't have enough deep conditioner for my <laughs> heavy handed hat to be appeased, I'm glad like I have enough leaving. So don't mind if I make up from the lack of deep conditioner with like half bottle of this leaving. Don't mind if I do. The sides of my hair usually. Need a little extra because it doesn't usually penetrate this. Like this is like my thickest portion. I want to say the sides. So usually need a little extra there. So I guess you guys are getting a bonus because this is like I only. I tend to do this like for conditioner only wash and goes. You don't really see me doing this to leave them gel wash and goes. The slip on the leave-in might be a good seven or something because I was able to kind of break without even thinking about it. Which I wasn't able to do with the mask. So this is my hair with the leave-in. I do feel like the definition is reasonable. So I'm happy with the definition. And I'm happy with the slip. I'm happy that I was able to rake my hands through so I feel like it's my hair again. <laughs> like it's, you know, wash day certified again. And the definition is reasonable for leave-in. So, of course, like there's not quite enough slip for me to repurchase the leave-in. Clearly, I'm not repurchasing the mask in case that was unclear. Um, yeah, the mask was enough for me. For me, it felt like if I just put avocado and oil, and if I was making a DIY, I would at least put some honey or some agave or something in there. So, mask was enough for me. 
The leave-in was reasonable. I can see it in the realm of being a product, a finished product. So I'm going to put some oil because like I said, I'm team oil these days. If I'm going to be team shampoo, i got to be team oil because my hair was getting too strict without it. So I'm going to put some oil in and then I'm going to do the flaxseed gel. <laughs> Just a little bit of DIY oil mix. And like I said, I don't put too much oil with my hands. And that is the entire section. I don't tend to put too much oil. Just a little bit of oil. And that's my entire section. So this is my hair before adding the gel. And now I'm gonna add the flaxseed gel. And this was the part I was most excited about. So the excitement is a coming again. So I did get the flexible hole. There was a strong hole as well, but that one had carbon more. Well, this one does have PVP as well. I enjoy making flaxseed gel, but I mean, I enjoy having homemade flaxseed gel. <laughs> but it is kind of an effort to make. So if this is nice, I would be happy to have found one. This doesn't seem to be wet hand approved. So it was a little hard to get the gel open with my slippery fingers, but using my shirt helped a little bit. Like, see? <laughs> kind of have to either use fingernails or shirts to really get, get this open. I like the texture. Definitely not too runny or anything like that. I'm just kind of going to start with going over the top. It has a very mild scent, but I don't know, like it's a slightly sour scent. I don't know what to say about that, but it's weird. <laughs> like it's not sour as in bad, but like if you think of a fruit that's naturally sour, it's giving me some kind of sour vibes, which is weird. So the scent of the gel is mild and to me slightly unpleasant, but mild. Don't know if anybody lives happily without slip. Like slip is so crucial for me for my natural hair products. Just my texture and everything. Like I need slip. I mean I need slip the most in the world, but I surely need slip <laughs> to get through the wash day. So I still wish there was more slip even though I'm able to make it work somewhat. This is my hair just after applying the gel. I'm a little bit iffy about it just because the slip wasn't good enough for me to really feel like I really distributed it. And I mean, the result is a little bit unknown. <laughs> so it's kind of big. It's not really raked through the way I like to rake through. And I mean, the definition is there, but it's not as defined as I've seen either. So. I'm not really too sure what to expect when it dries. You'll see and I'll see, I guess. I'm hopeful. Let me just shake it out, get my volume, and then we'll do a little turn, a little bit tomorrow. Well, or in two days, I don't know. It'll be dry, let's put it that way. <laughs> Good news, watch day is done. I'm a little uncertain about the results, but I am liking the vibe. I'm getting vibes from this already, which I'm liking. I'm getting big, defined, voluminous, hopefully not too crunchy, not too soft, hold. So I guess see you in a bit <laughs> when this dries. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Hi everyone, so I'm back with the result. As you can see, it's like pros and cons. I do feel like I might be seeing some flakes. I guess probably because I didn't work it in that well. So I will say that. But I do love like how light my hair is. You can see my hair is like a whole cloud right now. Like this is like the lightest areas I've ever seen my hair, I think. So I do like that. I am getting a cute vibe from this. And you do see some definition there as well. So I was a little worried when it was wet. But it definitely has some hold. And they did say it was like a light flexible hold. So in terms of results, minus this patch here. And I kind of used like clips to dry my hair. So maybe like the clips together like didn't get to penetrate that well here. But minus the flakes. 
I do think that this has potential. If you're just looking for like a flexible hold or like a light fluffy wash and go. If you do want more hold or more layage, there is like a stronger hold gel like I mentioned. In terms of look and stuff, I'm happy with it. In terms of moisture, I'm, kind of, I'm happy with it too. Like it's not like super moisturized, but it's not dry by any means. So I can get through happily. And I do feel like with the hold, I can get through the week, at least the week as it is now. <laughs> We're just kind of being at home and stuff. I feel like I can get through the week. And I like my shape. So I like the volume and lightness, like my hair feels super light. So if you don't like shrinkage, maybe not, because you know, the shrinkage is real. But um, I don't mind shrinkage. I like my short, long hair, so I'm cool with it. So let me go back through the products again and give you guys like my final thoughts on these. Starting off with the mask, Curl Defining Ice Cream Treatment Acai and Flaxseed Deep Conditioner. Kind of a lot going on in the name. But I think all you have to take from that really, I guess, is the Acai and Flaxseed and of course the avocado, which is pretty much the main ingredient. The Acai is in there, several spots below fragrance. First of all, well, yeah, first, first of all, definitely keep frozen. I don't know if you can see that. Because it's something that you may just buy, like you know you're buying products, you're buying, and you're not really paying attention. Like who really reads products to really read fine print? Not me. <laughs> so it's kind of down there at the bottom, something you may not have noticed. But if you're going to buy this, definitely keep frozen. For me, the slip wasn't there. It was actually a DNF. If you read books, it's like did not finish. I pretty much couldn't finish my deep conditioning routine because I couldn't rake through because like the slip was not there at all and I wasn't about to have another Honey's Handmade episode so I just kind of left it on and didn't try to distribute as I normally would. So if you need slip, detangle first, add some slippery elm, think about how you can spruce it up for yourself. So the ingredients are pretty simple. It's not quite DIY, it's still better than DIY just because of the amount of different little butters and stuff it has. But in terms of overall, it's like you have the avocado, then you have some a lot of butters with a little bit of flaxseed gel. Like I said, if something is just avocado, which is pretty fatty, and then butters and oils, even with the glycerin, like it's not gonna give me the same effect. If somebody gave me one of these, I would use it again. I would just put my own slippery elm and maybe put some regular rinse out conditioner in it. So it's not like I would never use it. I just wouldn't purchase it for me personally. But again, it depends on your hair. If you know your hair loves avocado, loves butters and oils, definitely give it a try. If you're like medium porosity, high porosity, then I think it'll work for you. Because it almost kind of worked for me, minus the lack of slip. Defines, yes. Moisturizes, mm, a little bit. <laughs> Six out of ten, maybe. Six and a half. But detangles, no. Hex, no. Mm -mm, no. And I was not tempted to eat it, so I don't know about that either. Because I'm somebody, like, a lot of products, like, <laughs> the nasty shampoo, scents, what else? Like, when something tempts me to eat it, I'm tempted to eat it. I think, like, Sultanicals, Coco Rasul, like, there are a lot of things, and this definitely didn't hit that for me at all. I think because of the fragrance. So it does say natural fragrance, I don't know, but it gave me a kind of perfumey scent still, so... I don't know what was used in there, but it smelled like avocado perfume, as I said. Let me know if you've tried it and let me know what your take on it is. If you like slip, beware. And if you're buying it, beware, freeze it. Then we have the Nourishing Avocado Leave-In Conditioner. So in a sense, this was my favorite product just because it was like the safest product. The slip wasn't amazing, but the slip was there. Like I felt everything. It went on like something. It did something. I was kind of winning a little bit. So I wouldn't put it on HD or anything, but I wasn't nervous or scared or freaking out using it. <laughs> Which is a little sad to say that that made it the highlight of the wash day, but it kind of did. Let me show you the ingredients. So the Propenadiol is supposed to be kind of good for slip and a little bit conditioning and everything. It's interesting having it so high up, but I mean, hey. Then it was pretty much oils. So it was a pretty simple formulation. Didn't rock my world in terms of moisture or anything, but I do feel like it gave good moisture. And most importantly, had a little bit more slip that I could actually rake my hands through. It had more slip and moisture than the deep conditioner, interestingly enough. So I feel like the deep conditioner probably penetrated better than this. 
but I guess maybe because I had more, like I could really go to town on this, I could just get enough to get the moisture I needed. This, I felt like I had good clumpage after and I was able to rake some water and everything. So we were kind of back to a happy-ish place after using this. I did use a lot because I feel like I pretty much used it like a rinse out conditioner. Because of the condition, like I said, you know, I guess I should have bought two and all that. So, because there's a lot going on here. So, but the deep conditioner, like I said, wasn't quite enough, blah, blah, blah. So I did kind of end up using this like a rinse out and I did use like half of it. Um, but I was happy in the end, which for me it's all that matters. I don't mind using all of the product as long as I'm happy in the end. <laughs> so, yeah. I wouldn't repurchase this, but it will get the job done. And if you have like higher porosity, medium porosity, if Adowa and Misha your booze, this might be great for you. And this again to me had like a perfumey scent. Like maybe it's a natural perfumey scent, but it smells like perfume. It smells like <laughs> like spritz spritz. Got it in a bottle of perfume. It doesn't smell like a natural scent. It does this smell slightly herbal, I would say. But that the deep conditioner smell like avocado perfume, and this smell like herbal perfume. So I would like to know what perfume she's using that is natural and smells like that. Cause yeah. But I don't really like perfumey scents on the whole. I prefer fully scents, as you guys know. So yeah, definitely in the perfumey scent range. So I would definitely buy this more for sealing and moisture than for hydration. Hydration, mm -mm, not really. Not if you have super low porosity because the penetration isn't that good. But in terms of like as a hair milk or for sealing and moisture, yeah. I would use this more as a hair milk if I was into hair milks. Then we have the flexible whole curly fining flaxseed gel plus yogurt. So long lasting whole anti frizz. I do think it's definitely not crunchy. It is frizzy so I'm not too sure about the anti frizz part. And the first soft hole, I do feel like it's gonna last. Definitely flexible hole. So think more your natural curl pattern, I guess, than like a whole bunch of layage. But you are gonna see definition in there. Possibly with the frizz and possibly with the flakes. So yeah. I will say this had more slip. It still wasn't as good as like I would want a gel slip to be or a custard slip to be. But it kind of added slip to the whole situation that I had going on. I probably would say be careful how you dry. Like I've been doing this new drying routine where I kind of clip it just to help get the insides dry. But I realized that if something is kind of flake prone, having the clips in certain places can maybe cause more flakes in that, those places. So I'm kind of snowing a little bit. I don't know if you can see this. Look how fluffy my hair looks. Okay, let me stop doing that. Um, focusing. Overall, my hair feels moisturized, so I can't knock anything on moisture. Otherwise it would have felt dry because it is dry outside. But it doesn't feel super moisturized. It just feels like, okay, we can work with this wash day. So it does have the PVP in there, which for me personally, I kind of wish it hadn't. But I feel like if these days you can't really avoid these kind of things, unless you buy one of the old school gels like Kinky Curly, Younger Funky and stuff. I feel like all the newer gels now, they're like, okay, take some carbon or take some PVP because we're giving it to you all. Uh, at least it doesn't have kabama, which is the one that really kind of dries my hair out. The PVP doesn't affect me that much. I am curious about this gel just for the volume, like volume on a million. I'm not saying I would push it again. I don't know. Maybe I'll try making flaxseed gel with PVP. I'm not going to buy PVP, that's for sure. Maybe it's the yogurt that is giving us this lightness. Just in terms of like minimizing the cast of the other things. So maybe I'll try flaxseed gel with yogurt powder. Maybe that's the DIY I'm getting out of this. So I'm still kind of curious and intrigued by this product, even though, like I mentioned, you know, the different, like the frizz and the flakes and everything. I'm still kind of intrigued just because the volume is unique. When a product does something that other products don't do, especially as a product junkie, any type of product can stand out in any good way. I'm like, intrigued. So we purchased no, but I'm intrigued and I might get something similar to this. So yeah so that's pretty much it that's my natural dip toe inner i like to mix it up sometimes because you know like i know what works for me which is fruit extracts you guys know basically fruit extracts but throwing some agave throwing some honey we there but every now and again i like to dip my toe into these lines that are more like oil butter glycerin and hope for the best like adowa i think misha so it's kind of heavy on the butters and low on the fruit extracts and i usually come to the same conclusion which is like not really for me Overall, I'm happy. The week is good. The ingredients are good. The moisture is there. And though the slip was subpar, I wasn't crying quite as much as Honey's Handmade just because I gave up, I guess. But 
I made it work. <laughs> I came through the end. So if you guys use natural, definitely let me know in the comments if you've tried it and if you liked it or if you didn't like it. I give honest reviews, so your honest reviews are also welcome. I'm not gonna delete comments for negative reviews and crap like that. So if you like it, if you don't like it, let me know down below and let's chat. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll definitely see you in the next one. Bye.